Hey everybody, so I wanted to take some time today and give you a review and unbiased, honest opinion on a product that's been getting a lot of hype and a lot of uh, influencer attention lately called Pop-On Veneers. And so just to preface this, I haven't been paid by the company, they haven't asked me to do this video. This is 100% my opinion as somebody that bought them and got them about a week ago and I've been wearing them ever since. Um, you're going to get the full, unbiased, unfiltered truth from me about whether I like them or not and whether I suggest that you get them or not. And it really depends, so we'll go into that a little bit later. Let's first talk about what it is and the process of buying them. So when you first order them, you do have the option of doing a payment plan. Um, the payment plan comes out to if you're going to get the tops and bottoms, which if you are going to get these, I would recommend you get you just go ahead and get the tops and bottoms because uh, if you just get like the tops, it's probably not going to match the color of your bottom teeth. So these are very uniform in color and your bottom teeth probably have stains and other things like that from, you know, just a living life that it's not going to match. So if you're going to get them, get the whole set. Um, I'm paying payments of basically like $40 a week for them, which it's affordable for me, but I'd say it is a little bit pricey for what you get. The entire price is something like $700, including like the financing charge. You look through a company called Partially. Um, and so, you know, just keep that in mind. It's gonna depend on whether that price, whether I recommend you paying that price or not, or not is gonna depend on how severe tooth decay you have and whether you have missing teeth and stuff like that. Let me just go ahead and say flat out, that if you don't have any missing teeth and your teeth are just not super straight or something along those lines then I wouldn't recommend getting these. I'd recommend just going and getting a whitening kit from like Walmart or something like that. I've had really great results with those in the past. Um, so yeah, if you want to whiten your teeth, don't spend $700 on some veneers. Just go get a tooth whitening kit. They work fantastic if you really do it every day. I've used them before back when I didn't have such bad tooth decay and I got really great results from them. These are really, I would, who I would recommend getting these is people that have really bad tooth decay like me. You can see I have, I hate even showing it on camera because it's just so bad. I had a lot of substance abuse issues for years of my life and I'm doing so good now. Um, I've been sober for coming up on like eight or nine months, so I've been really trying to improve my looks in many ways. I've been going to the gym a lot, um, just been trying to be healthier in general and look the part. And I feel like my teeth just really detracted from all the progress I've made. I hated smiling at people, um, work at a job that has a lot of contact with people, and so I just give them a smile like, like that because I just really hated showing my teeth because of all the judgments I feel that people make about if you have bad dentistry. Not, and to add to that, um, I feel like your attraction is determined a lot by whether you have a good smile or not. So I was really looking for a solution that would be short term because I need so much dental care and it's going to be so expensive that I'm going to be saving up for that for a while. So this was a good short term solution. Um, and for me, it was 100% worth it. I feel like they look great. Let me go ahead and pop them in real quick. So there you go. I think they look pretty good. Um, I haven't had anybody clock the fact that they aren't my real teeth or anything like that. It does change the way that you talk a little bit. You can see I kind of overpronounce my S's a little bit. Um, as you wear them, you do get used to it. Um, but it's like every time I take them out and then I pop them back in, I kind of have to relearn it a little bit. It's not something you really do consciously. It's just like you adjust to it. Um, so yeah, I feel like they look pretty good. I would recommend if you have a darker skin complexion, don't go for the natural white or the even the Hollywood white color. They're going to be way too white and just look way too unnatural. Go for the more aged look. Even people that have excellent teeth, like my mom, for instance, she's had, I mean, her teeth just look fantastic. If you look up close to them, they look, they're yellow because <clears throat> that's just what teeth do. Um, they don't stay pearly white forever. I mean, you could do whitening kits and stuff like that, but normal teeth, even teeth that have been whitened, um, have a yellow tint to them. 
So I wouldn't recommend getting like the natural white or Hollywood white color really for anybody actually. I kind of feel like maybe I need to return these and get the darker color just because I feel like they are blindingly white. They have darkened a little bit as I've drank, you know, cola and coffee and stuff like that. It, it has stained them a little bit, so I do feel like it looks a little bit better than when I first got them. But um, yeah, that's my opinion on them. Um, as far as the process of what happens when you do order them, you will be sent a mold kit and you need to follow the instructions 100% read them all the way before you do and even watch the video because you basically get three chances to make a perfect mold and then if the molds you send to the company if one of them isn't perfect they'll send you another mold kit <clears throat> and they will have you redo it so it's just going to add time to how long it takes to actually get your veneers so keep that in mind um so my final verdict, I really like these, I love them, I feel like for me it was 100% worth it. Um, for you, you're going to have to really consider how much, you know, how far away are you from your perfect smile and how much are you really willing to pay to get that perfect smile. If your teeth are only a little bit far off from perfect, you're probably more self-conscious about it than really you need to be um, because I don't think anybody's looking like, oh, their teeth are just a little bit yellow, they're not perfectly white. If you're in media, I can totally understand um, entertainers and YouTubers that are expected to have like these insanely white teeth. Um, a lot of that is software and lighting though. So get a whitening kit from Walmart, you know, if you just want extra white teeth. If your teeth are really crooked and you want to improve that, then this might be an option for you. But I really recommend these for people that have really bad dental issues and tooth decay that is going to cost a lot of money and you don't have that money right now but you can afford forty dollars a week so that's really all i have for you guys today i uh, hope you enjoyed the review and uh yeah take care